graph a number of logarithmic functions based on their basic graph and state the domain range and asymptote. First function g of x equals log base 3 of the opposite of x is built on the function y equals log base 3 of x, which goes through 1, 0, and also goes through 3, 1. So log base 3 of 3 is 1. When we graph log base 3 of the opposite of x, the function is reflected across the line x equals 0 across the y-axis. And so what was 1, 0 becomes negative 1, 0. What was uh, 3, 1 becomes negative 3, 1. The domain would be negative infinity to 0, not including the 0. The range here and in the other examples is negative infinity to infinity. And our asymptote here is x equals 0. In the next problem, uh, the opposite uh, sign is in front of log base 10 of x. So we'll be building the function f of x equals <coughs> the opposite of log base 10 of x on y equals log base 10 of x. You don't have to write the 10 since it's a default. The common log is almost never written with this base uh, 10 showing. This function goes through um, 1, 0. It also goes through 10, 1. So when we reflect across the x-axis, our function will pass through 1, 0 still but now also 10, negative 1. Domain, 0 to infinity, not including the 0. Range, negative infinity to infinity. And asymptote, x equals 0. Going to our next two graphs, We'll be starting with f of x equals log base 2 of x minus 1. So we'll be starting with log base 2 of x, which goes through 1, 0. It also goes through 2, 1. When we replace the x by x minus 1, the vertical asymptote will move right one unit to x equals 1, and so will the graph. And so we have the x-intercept at 2, 0, <coughs> and the other point <coughs> at 3, 1. So domain <coughs> 1 to infinity, not including the 1, range from negative infinity to infinity, and asymptote x equals 1. The next graph <coughs> is g of x equals natural log of x plus 4. So this is going to be based on the natural log of x, which can be, but almost is never written, as log base 3 of x. So this time the graph crosses the x-axis at 1, 0, and another point is e, comma, 1. We will be moving the graph four units to the left because x was replaced by x plus 4. And so the asymptote will be x equals negative 4. And
trying to prove will look something like this. Uh, what was one zero will be at <coughs> negative three zero, and what was at E one will be at E minus four. Minus four, <coughs> comma one. So domain from negative four to infinity, not including the negative four, range negative infinity to infinity, asymptote x equals negative four. In the next one, we have two plus log base five of x. So we'll be building upon log base 5 of x, which goes through 1, 0, as well as 5, 1. <coughs> and this time, the graph is going to be moved up to. And so 1, 0 will be moved up to 1, 2, and 5, 1 will be moved up to 5, 3. So this will now be 1, 2, and 5, 3. The domain uh, will go from 0 to infinity, not including the zero, the range, all reals, and the uh, asymptote x equals zero. We move up this time instead of left or right. In y equals 1 minus the log base 3 of x, we start with y equals the log base 3 of x, a curve that goes through 3, 1. This time, we're first of all going to reflect that curve over the x-axis, <coughs> and that will give us a curve that goes through 1, 0, but now 3, negative 1. And this will be the graph of y equals the opposite of log base 3 of x. Now we're going to add 1 to that, <coughs> so the graph will move up 1, and That's going to move the 3 negative 1 up to 3, 0, and it's going to move 1, 0 up to 1, 1. And so our curve will look something like that. Domain. Uh, from 0 to infinity, not including the 0, range from negative infinity to infinity, asymptote x equals 0. Now we're up to our last <coughs> two, and uh, log base 5 of x minus 3 minus 2. So we're going to build upon log base 5 of x, which goes through 1, 0, and 5, 1. First thing that happens is the x is replaced by x minus 3, which moves the curve 3 units to the right. And so we're going to have our vertical asymptote at x equals 3, and our 1, 0 will now 
will be four zero and five one will now be eight one. But then we have to subtract two. <coughs> so the curve goes down two. And so four zero will be at four negative two and eight one will be at eight negative one. curve will eventually cross the x axis, but the two points that we have will be 4, negative 2, and 8, negative 1. So the domain is from 3 to infinity, not including the 3, the range from negative infinity to infinity, and the asymptote x equals 3. This brings us to our last example, which is y equals 1 plus the natural log of the opposite of x. So we'll start with y equals the natural log of x goes through 1, 0 as well as n, 1. First of all, it will be reflected across the y-axis when x is replaced by the opposite of x. Our two points will be negative 1, 0, and the opposite of n, 1. And then we move that up 1. And when we move it up 1, our negative 1, 0 will move to negative 1, 1. And our opposite of e, 1, will move to the opposite of n2. <coughs> so this will be the opposite of n comma 2, and this will be negative 1. I'm moving up 2, so negative 1, 2, and the opposite of e actually 3. So uh, the domain here, uh, negative infinity to 0, the range, negative infinity to positive infinity, and the asymptote x equals 0. Remember that all logarithmic functions have a single vertical asymptote, all exponential functions have a single horizontal asymptote. Also be very careful when you're using your graphing calculator because when the curve gets close to the asymptote, the graphing calculator sometimes stops sketching the graph because it's become virtually vertical. 